uh, starting lineup and four British athletes in there, and three of whom are competing in the individual 400 in Rio, one of whom, Anika Nura, who's not perhaps with a point to prove in lane one. She'll be in Rio in the relay, but strong athletes in lanes four, five, six, seven. So you've got world-class athletes and British athletes who are trying to get up there. There is Anika Nura. I think no doubt she thought she'd done enough. A bronze at the European Championships where she edged out Christina Hurugu, but, but no sparkling times this season. Hasn't managed to get below 51 as she did last year. Emily Diamond's improving a lot after last year for her was ruined by injury. And Francina McCrory missed out on an individual place in Rio, fifth in those US trials which uh, spare no one if you're outside the top three. Floria Gay of France, silver at the European Championships in Amsterdam at the start of the month, behind Italy's Levania Grenot. Now, Shawnee Miller has only lost one race this season, that was over 100 metres, she's unbeaten over 400, she's outstanding over 200, but she's not going to double up, just going to run the 400 in Rio. Natasha Hastings, third at the US Trials, behind Alison Felix and Phyllis Francis, 50.17 she ran there. And it's Stephanie Ann McPherson, the Commonwealth champion from Glasgow a couple of years ago, fifth and fourth at the last two World Championships. She is the Jamaican champion this year. And again, this stadium, this local stadium, will rise to Christina Horagu. <laughs> Missed the trials with a virus, and that threw it all up in the air. Seren Bundy Davis, the youngest in the lineup, finished second in the UK Championships. So four British athletes competing here in this uh, women's 400 metres on a perfect evening, a quick evening as well in terms of sprinting. We've already seen very, very quick times. It's a, a freshly laid track as well. So I think we could see some very, very good times here. Not a breath of wind, it's warm. It's still... And Ahurugu looking for something, the selectors looking for something from her between now and Rio. She's won this race, this event, three times in the past with sparkling times. 50 seconds flat in 2013. She's a long way from that, but needs to find something. Shawnee Miller should be the, the woman to chase here from the Bahamas in lane five. Nika Nura in lane one trying to chase down Emily Diamond in lane two. And we'll see how Christina Hurugu paces herself out in uh, lane eight, just inside Seren Bundy Davis. But it's very quick so far from Natasha Hastings, the bleach blonde hair there. Shawnee Miller, long stride, chasing her down, down the back straight. And Stephanie Ann McPherson just outside, just squeezing up alongside Christina Hurugu at the moment. And Hurugu, does she have anything left in the final 150 metres? Seren Bundy Davis beginning to lose just a little bit of pace. And Nika Nura right on the inside, a long way to go. But it's Hastings and Miller side by side. And Miller now puts the squeeze on and strides clear of Natasha Hastings and of Stephanie Ann McPherson, Shawnee Miller, Christina Hurdigo in fifth place at the moment, trying to get there. Francina McCrone in fourth, but it's Shawnee Miller, an exhibition of 400 metre running. Look out for the time from Shawnee Miller, 49.57, quickest in the world this year. She brings home Stephanie Ann McPherson in second, Natasha Hastings in third, but they were a long way adrift. And she takes the world leading mark from Alison Felix. You're very welcome. What a run that was from Shawnee Miller. We're saying she's going so well in the 200 as well, but she's focusing on the 400 in Rio, and you can see why. Yeah, and I think she really needed that to, you know, she's going to have to take on uh, Alison Felix. Christine finished uh, the best of the Brits, which I think would be the least she would have wanted today. So Christine uh, in going a, a few steps towards vindicating her selection, definitely. And uh, running the season's best to boot, we'll give you details of that in a second. But I think Shorty Miller, you know, this is her third Diamond League win. She's learning to win in, in, in this event, you know, learning to run a race well. There was almost two different races here. 
from her lane out, they were all went through the first 200 much quicker, but she was the only one really who maintained well. Look at this down the home straight. She's hurting here, head's come back a little bit. She's moving those arms, trying to keep the knee pick up. She's a lovely looking runner, Shawnee Miller. And I still think there's a massive amount of potential for her in this event. But this shows that she is ready to take on Alison Felix. You know, that, that's, that sentence is, is a tough one. But no, she's, she's right there. And, you know, that was a really good performance here tonight. But she is, like Alison Felix, a great 200, 400 runner. Felix is not going to be there in Rio in the 200. She just missed out in the U U.S. trials. But Shawnee Miller has... Uh, well, it's a bit of a shame that she's not going to be doubling up, focusing on the 400, she says. The final decision has not been made yet. But uh, Michael Johnson, hugely impressed, I'm sure, with Shawnee Miller. Absolutely. I mean, the 200-meter speed that you guys have been talking about, we saw it here with her coming off the bend uh, with 100 meters to go, just so far ahead of everyone else, looking very relaxed. She benefited as well from the very, very quick pace set by Natasha Hastings. And Natasha Hastings always runs a fast pace, as she should, and it got her a third place here tonight. It got her a third place at the U.S. Championship so that she's on that team. But Shawnee Miller, fantastic um, uh, performance here. This sets up an amazing race uh, between Shawnee Miller from the Bahamas and Allison Felix, who is also a great 200-meter runner, defending Olympic champion in that event. So now two athletes over 400 meters, both choosing, uh, at least in the case of Shawnee Miller, choosing not to run the 200 meters. Allison Felix just missing out on the team for the U.S. But uh, both now focusing on the 400 in Rio. Should be a fantastic matchup between those two. Well, Christine, I, I was not impressed with Christine's run here. Uh, I think, uh, you know, as Andrew and, and Steve both said, she did enough to, to sort of indicate her position, but she's got some work to do between now and Rio. The one thing that I didn't see from Christine that you normally see is some great lift at the end of the, the 400 meters. And you can see the look on her face here, a little bit of struggling over this last 40 meters or so. The good thing about that is, is that's one of the easier things to work on over the next few weeks, which is working on a little bit of speed endurance well it's a mark of what high standards Christine Hurugu sets herself I said well that was a great season's best as we were waiting